Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I am showing you how I made these really pretty tags. I had shown you these in a previous video where I did my unboxing for my collaboration with Coco Rosso. I will have their link down below as well as a coupon code and all the links for the items that they sent me this time. So they sent me this acrylic stamp that has two of these stamps of their flowers and leaves, but there's two of them so you can do them on a full page. I just used one of them this time. And then on this, I used one of the cat, cat acrylic stamps and then the music note acrylic stamps. So I have these here. I'm actually going to finish off the ones that I, I started seconds of these and so I'll show you how I did those but as well I wanted to show you how I did the distressing of the backgrounds so we'll go ahead and get into that I have two tags here I used a Sizzix die for these and um, they are I think the Tim Holtz tag dies but I'll have a link down below but I have two sets two distressings here, Tim Holtz Spiced Marmalade and Mustard Seed. And this is just a really easy way that you can do backgrounds. What you need is something to protect your surface. So I have some parchment paper and then I also have, you need some sort of plastic. You could actually use the parchment paper if you wanted, but I wanted to keep these separate so I could do my dyeing on the black plastic and then lay the tags here to dry. You will also need a spray bottle of water to just spritz. I have this, those little tiny bottles would work just as well, if, but this is what I have in my stash. So what you wanna do is take your Distress Ink little squares and you're going to stamp out some ink in different positions or places on your plastic. This is just an a cellophane bag that I had. So I did the yellow and then I'm going to put some orange around a different spot. It's kind of hard to see because they're light colors but you'll see after I spray the water. All right, and then you're going to take your water and just kind of lightly spritz it. It releases the ink in there. Don't do it too much. Spray a little bit there, and then you can take and just kind of smush around the ink. And now you just take your tag and lay it down. Let it soak up that die, and then you can turn it over, and you can keep soaking up here like this. It's pretty cool. I think I want more of the orange, but first I'm going to I'm going to set that aside to let it dry. I'm going to take my other tag and soak up some more on this one, but definitely the orange kind of got blended in with the yellow. So I want to add more orange separately from the yellow. There. So this is even pretty cool like that. If you wanted to stop there, you could. So now I'm going to just add the orange. Let's put that all over. Add a few more spritzes. The yellow definitely wants to take over on this. But I can see some orange there now. 
that one's still pretty wet. So I'm going to go with this one. It's dry just a little bit, so we'll see if it, we can catch some more definite orange spots. Oh yeah, that's good. I love that. Alright, I think that's good. So since my metal die says you are my sunshine, I will be going in and cutting out, I'll punch a circle and I'm going to make a sun on there along with using some other papers and stamping out the music notes, but that will be later when it's when these are completely dried. But I'm going to go ahead and soak up some of the orange on here. It's still, it's not a bright, bright orange, so it does have a lot of yellow in it already. But I think this is fine. It doesn't have to be completely orange. I love how that... I just love the splotchiness. It's kind of a mixed media sort of background. Well, not a lot of mixed media, but you know what I mean. They start out with with this distressed background and then add all of the other medias to the top. By the time I get done with this, I'll definitely have several layers. So it looks like I've almost gotten all of my ink splotched on there. So I'm going to let these dry and I will be back and put together all three of the different styles of tags that I've made so you can see my process of how I went with this. I started by punching a circle out. This is a one inch circle punch and then I have these quarter inch strips. I'm going to cut them down to make some sun rays there. As you see on the left side there, this I had some short ones and some longer ones. These are straight little strips and then I cut them at an angle to make it more like a sun ray, I suppose. I just like the look of that better. I had four of the longer longer length ones and then three of the shorter ones but you can do however many that you want. I made the sun so it was more towards the left side of the tag and kind of going off the side of the tag so I glued the circle first and then went back in with my little rays and glued those down. Now as you can see on my tag on the left I did stitching with some orange thread on my sewing machine. I'm not going to show you that here today, but just know you can do an easy stitch all the way around and that just adds some extra texture. And I'll probably go back in after I finish these and add that on. I had this really fun felt trim. I think it was from the dollar bin at Michael's a long time ago. And so I cut little four little pieces off and glued it to the bottom and then I'm tying some orange gingham ribbon along the bottom. I think this is an eighth of an inch ribbon. And also my little sun rays were I think eighth of an inch as well. I think I said quarter inch. Now I have that die from Coca Rosa. It says you are my sunshine and so I'm cutting out out of orange there. And this is just a tiny little die. I think it's two inches tall and maybe um, an inch at the top wide and maybe an inch and a half at the bottom. But then you just have to poke out all the little holes there. And then I glued that towards the bottom near the ribbon on the right side of the tag. And the last thing I want to do is add some ribbon at the top. I have some yellow sheer ribbon and then I have the ribbon that has orange and yellow 
and so I just double knotted those up there at the top and trimmed off just to make them a little bit shorter so I think those turned out really cute now I'm moving on to the purple tag and so I have the music notes already stamped out there. I made a little reinforcer for the top hole. I don't know why I didn't do that on the other ones, but I just did that on this one. And then I tore up the music note paper and I'm distressing the edges and tearing them. And I'm gonna use that, I think it's peacock distressing along the edges. I wanted to put a little strip of it at the top of the tag and then a strip down at the bottom and I'm mounting the bottom strip onto some turquoise paper this paper was just some 4 by 6 sheets that I had from Creative Memories so I tore that and inked it and then I'm gluing it down towards the bottom and then adding the music note paper down at the bottom as well and then gluing the other strip at the top I ran out of the ribbon that I used on the previous tag so I'm using this turquoise uh, it's kind of like a yarn but I think it's a chenille yarn and then I'm using some sari silk ribbon that I dyed up at the top as well as that chenille yarn and I'm just doubling it and tying it through the hole at the top and trimming it off and then I'm adding another strip of the chenille yarn down at the bottom because I just didn't think it looked quite I don't know I, th I thought it needed more down there so I'm arranging it so that they kind of crisscross and it just I thought looked better that way and then the final thing I'm going to do here is stamp out the little kitten on the that I stamped on the other one so I have this we are memory keepers stamping platform and so I have a distressed tag that I made before it was just purple so I'm stamping black onto this with the memento ink and then I'll just cut this little kitten out and put that on the tag. I'll try to link below everything that I used on this. Of course I'll have the Coca Rosa links and then I'll have like my tag die and the rear memory keepers platform now moving on to the third tag this is the turquoise and yellow one that I made I'm adding the floral corner piece there that's the Coca Rosa die and then I'm using the peacock turquoise distressed ink on this And the beauty of using the platform like this is that if you if you didn't stamp one section very well you can go back in on top of it I'm tying the ribbon down at the bottom this is a turquoise sheer ribbon that I had in my stash and then at the top I didn't have any more of that turquoise with green um, grow grain ribbon so I was trying to decide and I didn't like that so I'm using more of the sheer ribbon and then I'll add in the green the it's kind of a neon yellow green eyelash trim so I'm putting that at the top and then I'll go in with the stitching later on so here are all my tags. I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.